Hello, how are you doing? My name is Benoit Menache. I'm the curator of art in Pembroke Pines. This is the glass gallery and right now we are having Florida Bounty. It's all about Florida. I want to introduce you to one of the artists that we are having today. Probably one of the most famous artists that we are having. He is, his name is Robert L. Lewis. An original, an original highwayman. Your work used to be oil. Oh, I am, I am, I am, in this building you would yeah. use acrylic because of the ventilation. Okay, okay. The oils are the most forgiving paints, the easiest ones to paint with. Yes. Acrylic, you got to move it. Yeah. The water colors, you have to move it. You, in general, you paint where the water is. Yeah. So in here, I could use the same style as I do with oils because it comes straight from the tube. Okay. Uh, I teach people how to do this style. Uh-huh. I teach them. And they never picked up a brush. I'll give them the whole kit. I'll furnish them everything. Mm -hmm. And what it is, as I lecture to them, it's just not just any old painting. It's a halfway decent painting. Everyone comes out. As you know, the miracle of this whole building right here, there's no two people think alike. You don't even have the same DNA. So everybody's different. So all you know when I teach this style, use it to your advantage. Next to me is... A great artist again, <laughs> again. We have only great artists, of you know course, that around of here. Course. This is Clara Hada. Clara Hada is more than an artist. For me, she is first of all a friend, right? Absolutely. And anytime I want flowers that just jump on me and hug me and love me and make me feel great and make me feel sunny and smiley. <laughs> I go to Clara, say, Clara, what do you have for me? Would you please explain to me a little bit your technique, okay? Explain to me what you're trying to do, uh, what you use. Um, I paint all in oils, and I also grow most of what I paint. I, we grow orchids at home, but if I don't have what I'm looking for, I go to orchid shows and all over town for them. But I try to bring out the light and different angles on the, on the flowers and make them look less realistic and a little more stylistic. Um, and in oils, I paint very, very thin layers of paint and glaze layer over layer over layer to get the depth and the dimension in the flowers and to bring them to life. Thank you for coming. You know, I Thank you, ben. enjoy your work. I enjoy your company. I enjoy you and your husband. You are great people. Thank you. I want to introduce you to a great artist. I mean great artist. Her name is Effie Lewis. Look at this face. Okay? And behind this beautiful face are beautiful paintings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you tell me about this great artwork. Take this here. Okay. All right. Tell me what is this. All right. That is a watercolor on canvas. And um, it's from a composite of several scenes that I take as uh, photographs when I travel Florida. Uh, that's up, actually was taken up near Hillsborough County along the Hillsborough River. And um, these down here, um, this was taken uh, off of a bay that comes out of uh, Everglades National Park. You fit perfectly in this Florida bounty <laughs> because I want to show the Everglades. Okay, I wanted to show the Everglades. I want to show the beauty of the Everglades. And you definitely, definitely show the beauty of the Everglades by your work. I don't know who doesn't know Jack Makovsky, my friend, 
Thank you. Ex-commissioner, I don't know, you are the only one that didn't look like a commissioner. You look like okay. a, really, you, I loved you, I, I loved you. I didn't wear a tie. You didn't wear a tie, but oh, I relax. loved, I loved you, everybody loves you. <laughs> Uh, you are fantastic, you. great guy, always the community okay. in your heart, always the art in your heart, and I appreciate, I appreciate very much. Okay, you like to say something here well, about this the, exhibit? The show, uh, especially the high women, mm -hmm. uh, I had talked to Robert Lewis Jr. Mm -hmm. years ago over at the League of Cities event and talked him into getting in touch with you to have a show here, and I'm glad to see they're back. They are a Florida historic project. They're, they're our, our past, hopefully our future. We have yeah. to conserve our water. We have to save our Everglades. Yeah, and, okay. and that's what they paint, is Florida, Florida. the old Florida. Florida. Okay. The Florida was, it was here when I was a kid. Exactly. In 1945. And you talk to people, they love where they live. They don't want to lose it. Yeah. So, uh, not only our city is involved in it, they want to preserve this, mm -hmm. but it, the whole country. The yeah. whole country needs it. The whole hey, it's, country. it's part of our history. It's our history. Okay, this is Joanne Hayer. Higher? Yeah. Hi higher. I higher than I didn't lower. Want this. Right. Higher than lower is much yeah. higher. And she is beautiful. She lives in my neighborhood. About around the corner. Just I can around walk the to his corner. House. Mm -hmm. And I love her work. Thank you very and much. And usually, uh, you paint differently. Yes, I Would paint you... in oil. This is my you first attempt. Yes. This is my first attempt with watercolor. Watercolor. You know what? This is so airy. I it's love the colors. It's so of different. It, yeah. it's, it's something else. It's really beautiful. This one was at my sister's house. I was at my sister's yeah. house and I was shooting a picture out the window yeah. and I thought I would do it for her for her benefit. Yeah. She saw it and she loved it. So, What do you think about this exhibit of it's art? It's lovely. I, I really love the florals. And of course I love florals. Yeah. And, and Clara's stuff is And you love florals. where you live. Yes, yes, of and course. And we want to preserve oh, that. Absolutely. And we're doing whatever we can here to show what we have. Okay, not as in the future to say we had this, but to say this is what we have, this is what we want to keep, okay, we love this place and we want it even more oh, beautiful. Yeah. Florida is beautiful, I love Florida it. Florida is beautiful. It's my, my kind of town. <laughs> I've been here most of my adult life. Uh, we are passionate about <laughs> what we do, eh? <laughs> right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, okay. thank you. Okay, I want to introduce you to Philip Mann. Philip Mann is a, an artist of the Everglades. Uh, I know him for quite a few years. I was very impressed by you a few years ago. Thank you. I'm even more impressed now. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Philip is uh, one of a kind, really. He is a writer, he is a poet, he is a painter, he is a financial wizard. <laughs> and he is a, a teacher at Barry University. Uh, I don't know what you don't do. I you don't know? sing. You, do, you don't sing. Okay, let's concentrate on the singing. <laughs> he doesn't sing. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about your paintings? Okay. Okay. I like to paint the Everglades. It's a, it's a natural environment. It's a tropical paradise. There's a lot to see and a lot to paint and I've been doing it for years. I'm a little concerned that some areas of the Everglades are in jeopardy because of the oil and gas uh, ex exploration. But uh, I think we ought to let everybody know that it's there. It's a part of our environment. I think our children in school should have an opportunity to appreciate it and to grow up with it. And the fact that Ben gave me an opportunity to show the glades is more than 
just pictures to me. It gives me a chance to bring to the attention of people what the beauty is and how they can appreciate it more. Because that's our future. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for... Okay, but next time I'll get you to, to recite some of your poems. Oh, did you read okay. them? Okay, I read them. I read them. I go here and there, and they're beautiful. Thank you. They're very impressive. Okay. And I see the love that you have oh. for our state. Yes. And we appreciate that. Thank you. I want to introduce you to Jane Collin. Hello. Hello. Jane is in this Florida bounty, very, very important. In Florida Bounty, we are talking about, or showing, right, the fauna, the flora, and the aqua. Mm -hmm. And all at once, I found out, oh my God, I forgot the most important factor <laughs> in the Florida, are the people. People. Tell me a little bit about your people. I am interested in how complicated people are. And so my work has become a little bit more complicated than it used to be. There's more layers, um, and I'm working not strictly in watercolor anymore. I'm working both watercolor and casein. Um, casein is an old, yeah, old medium use, yes. uh -huh, that uh, the pigment was mixed with milk mm -hmm. in order to, to make um, the binder. And I, I love the look of the opaque with the transparent, because I think people are opaque and transparent, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. You know what? Your artwork is fantastic. Thank you, Ben. And it really completes my show. Thank you. And it's, I don't know, I don't know, it touches me, you know? Thank These you. These people, for me, are alive, mm -hmm. with feelings, mm -hmm. with, uh, like you said, the dark and light, yeah. with mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. with some peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for including me in the show. Oh. Thank you. How can I not? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Man. You're, You're beautiful. Welcome. Thank you. This is a very impressive exhibit. I'm very proud of it. The artwork is fantastic. The reason why we had it here at the City Hall is so important to preserve the Everglades and our way of life. You see around here the fauna, the flora, you see the aqua, some of this painting of the underwater scenes, you see the people that live in Florida, you see the artists creating with their soul and their love, their passion, and it's fantastic. I'm very, very happy to be the curator here in Pembroke Pines. For OCTV, this is Benoit Menashe. Thank you very much.